hello everyone and welcome in hope everyone is doing well positive healing vibes to all the subscribers viewers and the world out there today we're looking into virgo's broken heart reading for the month of august in this message virgo we're going to tap into the energy surrounding you this month we're going to look into the energy surrounding your person and we're going to see what's challenging this between the two of you then we're going to dive a little bit deeper into the energy in this portion we're going to look at how they view the challenge what their true intentions are moving forward, anything that's hidden that you need to be made aware of, and where this is headed if you stay in this energy. I'm going to clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice moving forward. If it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So let's dive in here, Virgo, and see what we can see for your upcoming energy for this month. Most important message here for Virgo spirit. What do my Virgo friends need to know? Virgo. This is definitely an energy of reconciliation. And the reason why I say this is an energy of reconciliation because of the cards that are coming out on both of your guys's energy, but also we have the underlying energy and the challenge here. And I'm going to start with your person's energy so this can flow a little bit easier. So your person is coming out as the Two of Swords, the Ace of Wands, the Magician. It's almost as if this person is trying to manifest a new beginning with you, wanting to start something new, wanting to start fresh, but not knowing how to approach the situation. And we're going to clarify all of this here in a moment. Your energy, Virgo, it's almost as if your perspective is shifting, maybe on this connection or relationships in general. But I do feel like the challenge here is there has already been an ending between the two of you um, where you have felt a sense of betrayal, a sense of loss, maybe as if this person had left. Okay, so we're going to clarify all of this here right now. And if you find the message is helpful or resonating, please give it a thumbs up. We're going to start by clarifying the strength, king of wands, hanged man energy. You could be dealing with the fire sign, specifically Leo is coming out, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. Let's clarify the strength, the king of wands with the hanged man for Virgo. Okay. So it's almost as if you're really taking things slow here, a slow and steady approach, trying to keep the peace, trying to find a balance. I feel here, Virgo, that you maybe spend a lot of time alone and away from this particular person that's being channeled. Now, your person is coming out as having options. Okay, so there's a lot of confusion, a lot of uncertainty. Whenever one situation doesn't work out, they quickly move forward to the next. And this causes a lot of confusion. This causes a lot of uncertainty. Not knowing how to proceed or move forward. Okay, again, the challenge here is there's something that's already taken place here between the two of you where you guys have maybe called it quits or walked away from the situation. And again, this is a reconciliation. So let's clarify the Ten of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles. So I honestly feel here, Virgo, that you have already changed your mind about this particular person or about this particular connection. 
and maybe have at one point felt a deep connection here with this person, but had decided to walk away because of the confusion, the uncertainty, the up in the air and back and forth. So let's dive a little bit deeper here into the energy, Virgo. See how your person is viewing the challenge. Now, again, if you find the message is helpful or resonating, please give it a thumbs up. I do feel like you've already made a decision here, Virgo, to walk away. How is Virgo's person viewing the challenge in this energy? Please and thank you, Spirit. So, in the past, there was a lot of conflict. There was a lot of tit for tat, one up. So you guys had caused pain, caused hurt to each other. But I feel like the lesson has been learned because we have the justice energy. But you guys haven't communicated or resolved this gotten closure between the two of you. It's almost as if you maybe just healed and move forward. So what is this person's true intentions here moving forward in this energy spirit? Please and thank you. Okay. So this person has a decision to make. I feel like they are aware that they have to make a decision and this decision is going to have to be made soon or the decision is going to be made for them. I feel an energy of not knowing which way to go, not knowing which path to choose. Maybe all options are good. But I do feel like they want they are trying to reconcile with you. I feel like this is a very physical connection between the two of you. There is indication that this is a soul tie connection. We have the king and queen of swords. However, there's also confusion surrounding this right so let's look at anything hidden that you need to be made aware of virgo in this energy please and thank you spirit mm -hmm. this person is up in the air about what they want to do even if they uh portray to you as if they are wanting to move forward uh wanting to push forward What I see coming out here, Virgo, is they are back and forth. That's how I see this. And they are working on changing their perspective. I will say that. Um, so it's going to depend basically how do you want this to play out is what I would recommend. Because the ball is really going to be in your court. If you see a future with this person and you feel like they're going through some things, they're trying to figure some things out, and the confusion is maybe just work-related or financial, then giving them some time, giving them some space is okay. But if this Seven of Cups is pertaining to like multiple options of people that they're dealing with, then definitely needing to ask yourself, is this something that you can entertain for long term? Is this the person that you see yourself with? Or is that something that's unacceptable to you? So, where is this headed? You stay in this energy. Or Virgo, please and thank you. So, I will say this. If you try to walk away from this person without an explanation, they will fight for this. We have the Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. But I feel like there is a need to take some time to get clear on how this aligns with future plans, how this aligns with future goals for you personally. I'm getting clear on that year, five year plan, maybe even a three year, year, three year, five year plan will be important because it'll help you to see how this person aligns with that plan, um, how they're going to fit into that vision. But honestly, asking yourself, is this helping 
your goal or hurting your goal. That's what it really is going to boil down to, Virgo. So, let's pull a few cards out here for your advice, guidance moving forward. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. I am going to do an extended version to the reading, guys. In the extended version, we're going to take a look at what they would like to say that they're not telling you. The other influence is present. Can it be saved? Is it worth it? It's all going down in the extended version, and the links are all below. So, we have the Four of Pentacles, the Magician, the Star, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Three of Cups. What I feel like the advice is calling Virgo is to take some time to get clear on that bigger picture. Where do you see this headed? Four of Pentacles Magician. Is this something that you can endure long term or are you not okay with the confusion, the uncertainty? Do you need something that's more stable? That's going to be the first question that needs to be answered feel like this person is coming around. It's happening slowly but surely. So if that's something that you are waiting for, then that's definitely happening. But it's taking time to get there because there's closure that needs to still be had on a past challenge that you had with this person. So the quicker they're able to get that closure, the quicker this will move forward pull a few vintage oracle to sum up your reading we do see the wheel of fortune present so the wheel is going to start turning in your favor if you just can have a little bit of patience with this process we have protection we have perception and release so centering so there's a need to release something. I feel like this is closure on that past energy. I do feel like this is all about your perception. So do you want to endure or is this enough is enough? It's up to you, Virgo. The ball is in your court. But I feel like there is a need to get clear on that bigger picture vision. And how does this person align with that? Kind of determining the position that you want to give this person in your life, right? So Virgo, I do feel like the message re was received. I feel like that's a good solid message coming out. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. The main thing that I get through this reading is there is some confusion. There is some uncertainty coming from your person's part, even though they are coming back to reconcile. What do you do here, right? You have to get clear on the position that you want to give this person in your life and take steps towards that. So Virgo. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. Again, if you want to get in on the extended version, links are all below. Otherwise, thank you again, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.